Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. <clears throat> Today I am going to be doing a very much requested video by you guys. So, I wanna jump right in there. Um, I am still in a cast, as you can see. It's beautiful, I have a different one this time. They did have to recast it, so now I have a really beautiful purple glittery cast going on here today. <laughs> so um, hopefully this will be coming off soon because I have to tell you, it is really, really not fun trying to fix your hair and um, get dressed and do anything with a cast on. You just, you can't do it. And because of the way they reset my hand, I cannot even drive a car at this point. So that's fun. So anyway, um, I did try to do an embroidery project the other night. Um, I just wanted to test it out and see if I could actually do it, if I could hoop and, and do it. Um, and it didn't fare very well. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, so today's video is a, um, like I said, it's a very much requested video. I have had a lot of questions from you all about um, how... I like my Rakoma machine. Um, I've had it for about four and a half months now. And um, so I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on what I think about it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. All right, so those of you who are not familiar, this is the Rakoma EM1010. This is a 10 needle embroidery machine. What that means is that you have 10 needles to work with um, to do your embroidery. So if you're working on a project that has multiple color changes and whatnot, you can set it up on here. And let's say you had five color changes, you could actually put those five colored threads back there and it would stitch out all in one swoop instead of having to change all of your threads like on um, a domestic embroidery machine where you would have to change it out the five different times. So it works out really well. The cool thing that I like about Rakoma is that this unit right here is its own brain and it, it runs the machine. Some um, 10 needle embroidery machines, you need an additional computer to run this, this mechanism here, but not with Rakoma. So what you would need here is just your USB stick. You just plug in and you pull up your design on here. I believe it holds up to 200 designs. So I really like that because that eliminates the need for me to have more to contend with when I'm already um, working with designs down here. And as you know, my craft room is full of stuff. <laughs> so that's why it works out so well for me. I absolutely love it. Um, I love this machine. Um, honestly, it helps me get things done so much quicker. And you have all seen me use this machine. And um, I did it. I used it a lot during Christmas. Um, you just need your little, like I said, your little USB stick. It plugs right into the machine itself and then you're ready to go when you pull up the design. Um, you can use big, large spools of thread on the tray back here, the thread tray. Um, and I do buy the larger cones of thread. I'm using up what came with my machine and I have lots of thread, so there is that. Um, it comes with its own toolbox. comes with its own toolbox so that, you know, if anything needs to be fixed or whatnot, you definitely can do that. So that is a major plus. I have not had to use it, knock on wood. Um, I use pre-wound bobbins and this is what they look like. It's very easy to load these bobbins into the bobbin case on this machine. And you just put it in and you're good to go. So this is where your bobbin actually goes, is right in here. There's the bobbin case. You just pop it out and put in your bobbin and pop it back in. It's super easy to do. And then we have the hoops that came with the machine. So what is really nice about this machine 
is you get a very, very small hoop for doing like onesies and sleeves. But then you get this size of a hoop and they just fit on like this. Now you have to make the adjustment to make it fit on there, but once you do that, it's on. It goes on very easily. And then you get a bigger hoop. Whoops, I'm knocking everything over, which is very large, as you can see. This one is probably my favorite size and the size that I work with the most. This one here. So you get four of those, plus you get the hat, um, hat hoop and driver. And I have that down below, which is right here. And this attaches to the machine and this allows you to work with baseball caps. And in addition to that, I also have a really nice table that you put on. And this goes on to stabilize when you're doing like um, sweatshirts and blankets and that sort of thing. So overall, the use of the machine is very, very simple to use. At least it is for me. I find that um, it's pretty straightforward. Anything that has gone wrong during stitching or whatever, like a thread break or something like that, is it has been user error only. Um, and it's just because there's kind of a learning curve and I've been learning as I've been going along. But, I mean, it hasn't been bad, you know. It's no different than if you get a thread break on your sewing machine or even your domestic embroidery machine. So, so that is the Recoma EM1010. The other thing that I love about this is it comes with a stand. So a lot of embroidery machines um, do not come with a stand. Those are additional and you have to purchase them separately. With Recoma, it comes with it. And um, this stand is really good. It's very sturdy um, and it keeps everything nice and steady when it's stitching out. So great product. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to refresh your memory and show you some of the projects that we did work uh, this on. This was one of the very first projects that we kind of stitched out, which was a mug rug. And I used my AccuQuilt die to do this. And we did this on the Racoma. And they turned out so cute. These little coffee cup mug rugs. Um, the other thing that I did was I made this little cork pillow with my logo on it. Um, so this has cork fabric on it and just regular fabric. And then I just stuffed it with regular polyfill stuffing, but the machine stitched through the cork fabric with absolutely no problems. It was absolutely beautiful stitching. Um, I also used cork to make the um, hand sanitizer holders. And I do not have any more of those down here because I gave them all away at Christmas time. But I also made this beautiful cork pillow at Christmas. And you can see how beautiful the stitching is. It's very, very clean and precise. And I mean, it just, the machine is just amazing. I love the glitter. See, it's all sparkly, just like my cast. See? <laughs> so the other thing that I love is how easy it was to make these cubby buddies. I love the cubby buddies. Love, love, love them. And then, as you know, I made these for my grandsons. You've probably seen that video where I've done that. So I did use the Rocoma to stitch that out to personalize my grandson's blankets. And since I messed up my hand, I have not been able to finish this one. And here you can see, again, so these were supposed to be for Christmas. They're going to end up for their birthdays, and I'm going to end up missing this birthday yet. So I need to really, really get this cast off my hand. <laughs> and then next year I will be offering up 
this cute little design on some shirts. Stitched out my logo on my sweatshirt on my Rakoma. I have started a business with my Rakoma machine. It is an embroidery business. Um, I can customize quilts, rag quilts, um, cubby buddies, anything. So that is my, that's the business that I have with it. So if you're looking to start a small business, you definitely can do it with that machine. Head needle does make it much, much easier to do multiple things and get things done. And it also is a whole lot faster. So I will be honest and tell you the truth about that. <laughs> so, um, really, really, uh, just love the machine. I can't, I can't recommend it enough, honestly. Um, I just, I love playing with it. It's just, it's so much fun. And I know you will too. So I really hope that this review of that machine helps you. And if you have questions, you know, you can always ask me down below in the description box. Um, if you're interested in pricing or financing, those links are also down below. Go ahead and click on those, fill out the form and Rakoma will get back to you as soon as they can. Um, and they'll give you all the information that you need. I can't give you pricing information because I don't, I don't have that. You can also purchase Mighty Hoops for a 10 needle machine if you'd like to do that. You can do that also through Rakoma. There is a shop Rakoma link down below there. If you're looking for direct print to garment um, printers and things like that also, link is down below in that Rakoma link. We'll give you all of the information that you need. The training for Rakoma is awesome. So when I went through training, it was um, online training, but it was actually via um, a Zoom call. And I was trained on everything that I needed to know on how to work the machine. Um, I was able to ask questions. And so they've been very, very helpful. Anytime that I've had any issues with the machine, I can contact customer service and they, you know, they take my call. Yeah, I mean, and usually, like I said, when I find out, you know, my answer, it's usually user error. So they're really good about answering that. There are also groups that they have on Facebook that can help you. And the people in those groups are also very helpful and will um, answer questions that you have, you know, so sometimes you can go there. They have videos on YouTube that will help you. And so there's lots and lots of resources. Plus, there's a lot of us on YouTube that have these machines as well that, you know, um, we have tutorials and things like that that might be able to help in case you get lost. So, like I said, I thank you for asking about it. I'm so happy to give this four and a half month review. I finally got to it. Holy smokes, I feel like I'm so behind because I really am. <laughs> um, but anyway, links are definitely down below. So go ahead and check those out. That is it for me today. I hope you are all doing well. Please stay healthy. And um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.